people who work with the seven trans guys. There's a lot of different stuff in the story. Man, we got a lot in store for y'all. We got vlogs coming. The daily topics, vlogs, challenges, and so much more. I hope you guys like our video. Hit the like button, share. And I would love if you would hit that subscribe button for me. Welcome to week 51, man. I'm out here on our terrace. It's chilling. It's a nice day from yesterday. It was like cold as hell. It was like 30 something today. It's like 70. Maybe like 60. Nah, it's like 60. 61, 62. It's a little chilly outside, so I got on this sweater. Uh, but welcome to 7 Trends. Guys, man, uh, thank y'all for tuning in for. Damn, I hate when that happened. Thank y'all for tuning in for week two, week 51. I'm on my countdown tip, you feel me? Um, and this week is about our coming out stories. I'm gonna keep it totally 100. Like, I really don't have a coming out story, like a officially coming out story. I can say it was like three days after Christmas. I came out to my mom and like, sent her a text message the day that I left from the city of Dallas and I was coming back here to Houston and my chick like she told me though yeah you gonna you gonna tell her you know but I really didn't really want to fade like yeah whatever but uh, I actually told her like officially through text message she was kind of high off drugs at the time so it really didn't down on her she was like oh okay whatever blah 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 and then um, we had a phone conversation the next day and we revisited like I texted her I was like hey Ma do you think I'm trans and then she was like why you think that and I was like well I've been feeling like a boy all my life like I never thought that I was a girl like even growing up in adolescent like I just anybody that met me just knew like they just knew but they was like, yeah, that's a little boy. And my mom, of course, I'm like, no, this is my daughter, like, son. <laughs> but, like, I never, like, when you growing up, you always know, like, what you are because everything is, like, so divided. Like, girls play with this toys, boys play with these toys. Girls go to this restroom, boys go to this restroom. Or, um, or it's more so, like, uh, you're my princess, or you know, you're my knight, or I don't know. I don't know what they do in Philly. <laughs> but I was always outside with my pops, working on the car, doing yard work. I never dressed like a female. My mom always let me pick up my clothes, so. And I just felt like I was her son. Um, I never really thought about gender back then, um, but it was just. I guess something that it brings, you know, as you grow older, there's things that separate, you know, the two genders and it just compiles. Like maybe you have to wear uniforms or maybe you have to go to a certain bathroom or maybe you have to um, be separated in the classroom um, or different um, studies go for male or go for female, like in uh, physical education. Um, they would separate the girls and the boys or in college like in our uh, exercise science classes male has certain statistics females have certain statistics so um, when you grow you know get older and you start to say okay you've got a big side um, that's how society is period um, but like I said in my mind I knew who I was and I was me and I was Jay the son um, the little boy growing up. If I met anybody, I told them, yeah, Jay, you know, nice to meet you. Or if I was with my parents, it would be something different, like my birth name, nice to meet you, you know? And then if they said, oh, your son, my mom was like, oh, no, that's my daughter. And they'd be like, that's your... Okay, sure. Um, because I've always looked like this I mean I don't know I don't believe I have like real female characteristics <sighs> but anywho um, 
that's how I was growing up. And anytime that I was with my friends, I was introducing myself as he. My friends didn't care. Um, they just roll with it, like talking to females. What's up, my name Jay, how you doing? Or a new homeboy, what's up Jay, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Going to the boys restroom, kicking it with the partners, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, I don't know. I never, my mind has never been like female, female, feminine, feminine. Like that wasn't, I don't know, that wasn't me. So elementary, it was just as normal, like, regular elementary I barely even remember it I know a couple of remember a couple of teachers back in the day but not like stuff I'm, I remember certain like periods of times but not just going through stuff but I, I remember in middle school um, that's when it became like apparent because that's when you start like separating everything um, and puberty happens so you start developing this and you start to have that and he like, oh shit, I guess I'm not really bodily what I thought I was, you know what I'm saying? So, um, middle school was tough. It was real hard. Like that emotional period of um, me doing some outlandish stuff and my mom telling me, stop telling people that. Like, you ain't no da -da -da. And I'm like, well, okay. Um, so middle school was, was rough a little bit. My emotions was all over the place. I had anger issues. I used to go ham on folks. No lie. Um, and then in middle school, like, I went to two middle schools. One where everybody knew me, everybody was cool, and I was my original self, birth, given self. But then at one point I was like, I'm not gonna play sports. I can, you know, go to this other school. So I went to the other school, and I was me, me, inner me, you know? I was Jay. Um, everybody called me he, teachers called me he. But something happened. Like, I didn't play sports there, never had any PE classes, and I was just a quiet young dude, you know what I'm saying? But it came to the point to where it was a girl that was liking me, and she always was like a teacher pet. So she asked the teacher one day to take the roll, and I guess she was checking on the road, just trying to, you know, it gives, gives you a birth name, your age, your gender, I don't know what else they had on there, absent or tardy or whatever, not here. And she seen it, and then she was like, what? Huh, I'm gonna tell everybody in the whole school. So she went around, you know, females chatter. And by, by then, man, the boys knew, girls knew, and I was like having mad questions. Like, people was coming to me left and right, people was looking at me funny. And my homegirl, she was like, yo, like, everybody talking about this, about that. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going back to my old school where people knew me. It was just too many incidents. Like, had an incident in class, like a substitute was, she called me out, she was like, uh, birth name, birth name, where you at? So I raised my hand. And she was like, this ain't you. And I was like, that's me. I go by Jay. And then she was like, but on here it says you a female. I was like, no, I'm a male. I'm a male. And then she was like, okay, just see me at the class. You know, black women add to me. See me at the class. So then that class period has ended and she had a talk with me. She was like, this is you. And I was like, yeah, that's me. And I was like, if you can, please call me Jay while you're here, because you're not my original teacher, but while you're here, call me Jay. I had an attitude back then, even with the teachers, like, while you're here, call me Jay, okay? <laughs> but, so, next class period, you know, middle school, you got like different classes and shit. Next day, I had her again, and she was like, birth name where you at and I was like this so I was like I'm here and then during the class she would be like see uh go ahead and answer this Jasmine please she uh and I'm like ah, and everybody was like tripping out and this was like the second incident so 
I had to leave. I booked it, went back to my original school, and I, I never looked back, really. So, during that time, like, after that, after being ridiculed, after going through that situation, I went back to my original school, chilled with the people I knew, that knew me for who I was, teachers that knew me who I was, and I just went there, played ball, played ball in middle school, high school, college too. Um, it wasn't no deal. Like, I wasn't out as trans back then in high school and, and middle school. Um, information was so limited. Like, I'm 27, and back then we didn't even have, like, Wi-Fi, high-speed internet. We had dial-up, like AOL dial-up. You had to put a CD in, and you'd be like, <laughs> like, we didn't have all that. Like, so the information that I got was so crazy, let me tell you. So, I found, like, YouTube way back then, and I don't know how I came across this, and I was just looking at it. It was like balls and pageants, and it was the face contest. I'm like, what the hell is a face contest? You know what I'm saying? I'm living like a lesbian, masculine lifestyle, like a butch or whatever you want to call it, stud. Um, and I'm like, the face contest? I was like, oh, that's dope. And then I was looking at it, and it was just like dudes. And who was like prettiest dude, but real like masculine. And I was like, oh, that's dope. I want to do that one day. But then I was like, oh, damn, I can't. But then later on, I found out it was all trans men. And I was like, oh, shit. What is trans, you know? What is trans? I looked it up a little bit. It still wasn't a lot of information. So I just kind of, like, brushed it. And now it brings me to, to now. Like, everything is so much, like, readily available. And I'm done. I'm done with basketball, playing sports, playing football. Like, Everything is so much gender role or related to where I had to wait until everything was done. Like, I went to college to play basketball. That's four more years. Um, I played uh, football, tackle football. That's, I played that for five years on top of that. So it brings me here, and now I'm just trying to live my life as who I am today. Um, and I can go through all the steps and procedures because I'm not doing anything that makes you pick one or pick two. You know what I'm saying? You either this or that. Like, nah, erase all that. So I guess that's like a little bit of an out story for me. Um, I've pretty much been out since I've been out, but like coming out as officially saying I am trans was the three days after Christmas, coming out to my mom, having a conversation. Um, my friends really, I mean, I really don't talk to them since I'm like so far away, but we speak, we catch up, but I don't feel like it's the need to be like, hey, you know what, I'm trans, you know, it, it's no need. They be like, yo, Jay, what up, man, how you doing? You know, it's been cool. What girl you messing with now? You know what I'm saying? Who your, who your chick? You know, how, how school is? You know, it's, it's nothing like, oh, who, who, what sex are you? Like, what do you go by? Like, nah, it's nothing like that. Um... And if you feel you have to do that, I'm sorry, the light, the light is getting horrible because it's getting dark out here. But if you feel like you have to, like, tell somebody, man, tell people that's closest to you first, man. Come out to them. Uh, my mom was super accepting. She was like, I'm going to love you regardless of, you know, whatever. You my child. You my blood. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's what it is. Just let me know when you start going through these changes so I can get mentally prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's not an easy process. As you go through this, other people have to change with you, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's that's just what it is. Um, so, I've just been me since I've been me since I've been me. You feel me? It ain't, it ain't no thing change. Um, but it, it's definitely um, going through life back then before like the mega internet it was it was definitely tough um coming out um as who i was because i really didn't understand uh, but now as i'm grown i'm older um i truly understand uh what it means to be trans and um i'm just living my life man don't nobody dictate 
what I do um, and, and what I say and, and what I go by, man. Everybody's still accepting if I do tell them. Um, and it's just like, what it, it's like, what does that have to do with anything? Like, we cool, but... Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you, like, on the university campus, too, anybody that I meet that's new, like, they don't know me for who I was when I was younger, so it's like, Jay, what up? How you doing? Teachers, um, Jay, sir, can you hand me this paper? Can you pass this out? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's none of that other stuff, so... Um, I ain't gonna say just move and you can live your life, but just move and you can live your life. <laughs> hey, I appreciate y'all, man. Seven trans guys, man. Check below is gonna be um, the at to all the Instagrams of the guys. It's gonna be the at to the seven trans guys Instagram page, man. Follow us every week, man. It's week 52. We got plenty more weeks coming to you. Check all the guys out, man. All different types of stories coming at you. We coming at you with that straight fire. Man, hit us up, hit me up, hit my DMs, hit my, my comments, man. I'm an open book, ask me anything, man. It's JR, checking out. Peace.